Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Camroom5. Today's video is going to be about alcohol oxidation. We will deal with the oxidation reactions of alcohol. Let's define oxidation, which is actually loss of electrons. So when you lose electrons, that's oxidation. Another definition is gain of oxygen. So when something reacts with oxygen, that's also oxidation or it's loss of hydrogen. So these are the three definitions. One, two, three definitions for the word oxidation. When we deal with oxidation, we'll first go through primary alcohol oxidation. A primary alcohol does not have many alkyl groups attached to the carbon with OH. So primary alcohol can be oxidized using acidified potassium manganate 7. Let's draw an arrow. If you use acidified potassium manganate, you get carboxylic acid. So that is the oxidation using acidified manganate 7. It's purple in color, that's why I'm writing it with purple pen. We call it acidified manganate. It could be sodium manganate, potassium manganate, 7. 7 is the oxidation number, by the way, and it changes from purple to colorless by the end of reaction. So, so when we write acidified manganate, we need to write the 7 in name, or we can just call it acidified manganate MnO4 minus. This happens with a primary alcohol, which we can also write as one degree alcohol, and we get a carboxylic acid as a product. Things become interesting when we are using a slightly weaker oxidizing agent. A slightly weaker oxidizing agent performs the reaction in two steps. Let's start with the primary alcohol on the left. When we use a weaker oxidizing agent, which in our case is acidified dichromate, Cr2O7-2. Acidified dichromate can produce aldehyde in step number one. An aldehyde has a carbonyl group on the corner. So aldehydes have H on the terminal and carbonyl on the same terminal. Aldehydes are made by step one. If you continue the oxidation using the same acidified dichromate, Cr2O7-2, you get carboxylic acid. It means that manganate can produce acid in one step, but dichromate can produce acid after two steps. So carboxylic acid is the product. Here, things have to be understood that oxidation is happening in both steps. So that's why I'm writing square bracket O. Square bracket O means oxidation. This is step one, where you make aldehyde, and step two, where the aldehyde then later makes the carboxylic acid. We can also perform the same reaction in one step, even with dichromate, by the way. So with the dichromate, we can perform, with acidified dichromate, we can perform the same reaction in one step and we can make acid. So what makes this evident? What controls that whether we make aldehyde or we're gonna make carboxylic acid, what controls that? It depends on the conditions. It depends on the environment, the experimental setup, which will control this. So let's talk about that experimental setup. Starting from a primary alcohol, we can get aldehyde or we can get carboxylic acid depending on condition. I'm making an arrow from the alcohol to aldehyde and then to acid or directly from the alcohol to the acid. In both cases, we are using the same reagent. The reagent is the oxidizing agent H plus means acidified and dichromate, which is orange in color. So in order to make aldehyde, you use 
distillation we write warm and distill and to make acid we call it the reflux atom imagine a round bottom flask containing the primary alcohol like ethanol or propen 1 ol or butane 1 ol these are primary alcohols so imagine the round bottom flask has the primary alcohol like ethanol this round bottom flask has been placed on an electrical heater because alcohols are flammable in both cases I need to add the oxidizing agent right so we have setup number one on the left and setup why was I writing step and on the second side we have setup number two on the right hand side I'm adding my orange colored acidified dichromate using a measuring cylinder now the chemical contains primary alcohol and acidified dichromate so let's write it acidified dichromate and also on the second side again ethanol plus acidified dichromate both chemicals have been mixed on the left hand side I have a fractionating column fixed on the round bottom flask that's called a fractionating column on top of fractionating column I have a cork so I'm fixing a cork on top of the fractionating column I have a delivery tube coming out of the cork and then I have a condenser with cold water coming from the bottom as soon as the reaction begins the aldehyde will be produced and aldehyde will move through the delivery tube it will be condensed and it will be collected the reactant alcohol will not be able to pass through the fractionating column because alcohol has higher boiling point so the distillation setup will make sure that the aldehyde is produced and collected you will collect the aldehyde in the conical flask while the alcohol will remain in the round bottom flask in this case your product is aldehyde aldehyde product is collected in the conical flask through distillation on the right hand side the setup has a condenser right on the top we call it the reflux setup we have water jacket let me write water jacket right on the top of the round bottom flask this water jacket or basically condenser is on top of the round bottom flask as soon as the reaction begins obviously aldehyde is produced but the condenser will not allow it to move somewhere else rather the aldehyde will drop in the same container and it will produce carboxylic acid you will not let the aldehyde leave the container so carboxylic acid is made because aldehyde is not leaving the container and this setup on the right hand side is called reflux on the left you can see the distillation setup on the right you can see the reflux setup to make aldehyde we write warm and distill where we use the distillation setup to make aldehydes on the right we call it heat plus reflux to make carboxylic acids in both cases the reactant was the primary alcohol plus acidified dichromate so the oxidizing agent was none other than the acidified H plus Cr2O7 which means acidified dichromate now moving on to the oxidation of secondary alcohols secondary alcohols do not offer a choice secondary alcohol will never make carboxylic acid so starting from a secondary alcohol even if you use manganate or dichromate no difference you get a ketone a ketone has carbonyl in the middle I'm writing square bracket O which means the same thing oxidation H plus Cr2O7 acidified dichromate converts the secondary alcohol or two degree alcohol into a ketone when you talk about 
tertiary alcohol oxidation a tertiary alcohol is the most branched one by the way so tertiary alcohol oxidation never happens so writing it a tertiary alcohol let me make an arrow if we try to oxidize it you will see no reaction no change the dichromate will not change the color the manganate will not decolorize so even if I use acidified dichromate or the purple one acidified manganate let me write both H plus Cr2O7 minus 2 acidified dichromate or H plus MnO4 minus acidified manganate they do not change color because tertiary alcohol can't be oxidized at all so so far we have talked about oxidation while we are at the topic let's talk about the oxidation equations also because often the examiner wants us to write the equation Ma, in oxidation equation we can use the square bracket O which means oxidation so square bracket O means oxidation and we can use it to write the half equations so when we talk about half equations in half equations we only concern ourselves with organic molecule half equations only the reaction of the organic molecule is considered only the reaction of the organic molecule is considered here we don't talk about the manganate or the dichromate imagine CH3 CH2OH which is ethanol when ethanol reacts in oxidation let's write square bracket O which means oxidation it's making CH3 CHO by the way CHO means aldehyde so ethanol is making ethanol which is aldehyde by the way in this reaction you can notice that the number of carbons is balanced but oxygens are two on the left side one on the right side so we write one water to balance the oxygen as a product now let's count the hydrogen first let's let's write the oxygen two oxygens on the left hand side and two oxygens on the right hand side by adding water now let's count hydrogen three four five six on the left hand side and six hydrogen on the left hand side on the right hand side one two three four five six two from water so again six hydrogens on the right hand side also it's a balanced equation ethanol is making ethanol that is basically oxidation with the distillation setup because you're making aldehyde so that is warm and distillation setup now let's talk about the complete oxidation CH3 CH2OH goes through a reflux setup and you know in reflux we make acid we don't make aldehyde we make acid so CH3 CH2 C CO2H which is carboxylic acid ethanol is making ethanoic ethanoic acid so alcohol is converted into acid by the heat and reflux setup we can write square bracket O to show oxidation square bracket O to show oxidation we can count oxygen there are two on the left hand side and two on the right hand side so it's technically balanced two oxygen on the left hand side two oxygen on the right hand side seems balanced when we talk about hydrogen so three four five six on the left hand side there are six hydrogen on the left hand side when we talk about right hand side it's only four hydrogen so only four hydrogen on the right hand side to balance it to make more hydrogens on the right side I'm writing one water so two hydrogens come in now it's balanced and to balance the oxygen now 
I can put a 2 before the square bracket. So it's a balanced equation for the complete oxidation. Complete oxidation of ethanol into ethanoic acid. These two equations are only half equations for the organic molecule. When we talk about the dichromate, Cr2O7, which is a reagent, it's also reacting, right? So it is making Cr3 plus ions. While the alcohol is oxidized, the dichromate is reduced. So dichromate itself is reduced. It was orange in color in the beginning. Now it turns into green. 